Good morning. I think we're back. I think I'm just gonna combine yesterday's footage with today's because I didn't really like what I recorded yesterday, just a few things. I think I'm just out of it. Um, trying to get back in the swing of things. Let's turn some lights on in this house, shall we? Um, I'm gonna make some green tea. Your love is gone all along. I sit, I wonder why, 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 why. So many ingredients. So many ingredients. All right, water is boiled. So let's get the tea made. I'm using some matcha blueberry. I'm gonna try it with some toasted marshmallow today some nut pod I got my little scoop my scoop and you just kind of like dip it I do like one and like a half that might have been two full ones but that's okay too no big deal no biggie wow wow and then I take some hot water how much enough I don't sift mine. I know some people sift it, and I have a sifter, but I don't sift. Maybe I should. All right, and so then I, but I do whisk with, I'm, you wanna go back and forth. And that's how you really, and this is why I feel like I don't need a sifter because I do it like this. Your love is gone all along. I'm gonna put some my green tea and my matcha. Oh girl, that looks good as fuck. And then I'm gonna add some water. Matcha green tea. Oh, it's so good. With the, I've never done it with this, but it's so good. All right, cool. That's it. That's how I make my matcha. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Um, I've since I've uh, kind of been off the caffeine for a few weeks, um, like coffee caffeine. So I'm trying to like switch to tea, and I've been taking these super mush. I don't know if you've seen like this ad. I got TikTok got me on this. But I wanted to try them out, and honestly, they taste like absolute garbage at first, but I'm starting to get used to the flavor. But this is like the energy one, and they're made with mushrooms, but not like psychedelic mushrooms, like just like holistic mushrooms. Lion's made and some other ones I don't know how to pronounce. But you just spray it in your mouth, and it's like gives you energy, like natural energy, and honestly, it works. It tastes like shit, but it works. I have... 
I got like the sample packet, so it has the, all three of them. So it comes with an energy, an immunity, and I have the chill in my room. But like I said, it tastes like shit. I hate mushrooms. It's my least favorite food of all time. But um, I'm starting to get used to the flavor a little bit. Still tastes like shit. So I'm just gonna do a four spray for that. They say four is like a half a cup of coffee and eight is like a full cup of coffee. So since I'm having this, I only do four. But yeah, the flavor's getting so much better. And if I first started it, I was like, couldn't bear <laughs> the, the taste. But now I'm getting used to the flavor. So yeah, let me add in, let me add in a little bit of what I did yesterday. I washed Coda, so here's some of that footage footage. What? Failure. No, Coda. No, you have to stay inside here. You have to stay in here, Coda. You cannot leave. Quit. Quit. Quit it. Coda, stop. Do not leave. Stop. Stop. You're not going anywhere. Stop. Coda, no. You stay in the shower. We're almost done anyway. Yeah. Doing great. Doing great here. No. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you so much. And then I dried her. So there's some of that as well. I that was basically my whole day was tending to Coda. Um, today I should be getting a shirt delivered so I can get an order. I have two orders to make and get out, so I need to get that done. I don't really know what else I need to do today. Oh, I want to decorate. That's right. I'm leaving for a trip on Monday, so I'm not going to be here for like the beginning week of October, and I want to be able to enjoy some Halloween so at my house. So I want to decorate today. So I'm going to do that. I've already like semi-decorated for fall, but we're going to turn this place into Halloween town. I have 50,000 pimples. 50,000 pimples. I also, um, this might be also because I started a new medication called, uh, called Lexapro. <laughs> That's where I've been um, these past few weeks is that... I had, my last thing I recorded, I went and ran a bunch of errands. I don't really think that we need to see that footage because there's nothing that really happens in that. On the way home from running those errands, my really awesome brain started to take over and convince myself that I was the worst human being to ever exist and that I'm worthless and that nobody would ever love me and nobody loves you and that I might as well just some crazy brain fuck that I happen to go through all the time. Like monthly, I go through this up and down of um, I'm the worst human being, I don't need to be here, thoughts. And this last time it really like was real. And I was like, woke up the next day and I was scared and um, that I had those thoughts, so I started to look into stuff, and um, I went to my gynecologist, and I was, uh, since it's only happens like a few times, like once a month it happens, so I just assumed it was PMS for a long time, but come to find out, it's, I have something called PMDD, which is like a more extreme form of PMS. I'm still learning about it, and I've only been on this medicine for like a week and a half, so like I don't know much 
about if this is gonna work or anything. I'm still just waiting to see if the medicine helps come October. It's been a little rough. It was also like my dad's anniversary of his death. And so that, I guess, plays a factor in it too. But I was already feeling really terrible about myself before that. So, um, but that's what PMDD does. It's like crazy depression, crazy anxiety, really terrible thoughts, um, unmotivated, lethargic, like all these things that like, I've never been able to explain. I've been dealing with this for, since I've, I was like 16, 17 years old and th these crazy emotional roller coaster. but we've always just said, oh, it's just PMS, it's just PMS and you just need to be on birth control, but it's never worked. Nothing's ever worked. So um, it's, I feel like uh, maybe there's a light at the end of this tunnel that maybe I found an answer. Having that doctor tell me a name and give me hope gave me validation in my mental health and made me feel like I, what I've been feeling all these years is valid and that um, I've been, I've felt very much like a lot of people around me have been annoyed with my mental health and, um, or bothered or just like over it and maybe not annoyed, but over it. Like, oh, here it goes again. So I'm really thankful that I got um, validation. For me, at least. Who gives a fuck about anybody else, right? Just keep telling yourself that. All right. We're making t-shirts. trying to figure out what's wrong with my heat press for months oh that's so much better this I couldn't I wasn't able to do this Woo! that's great news I think I'm ready to start decorating. I have my Haunted Mansion sweatshirt on. I lit every candle in this house that is pumpkin or fall flavored. Um, I brought everything upstairs. So here, if you can't see it all, but it's all down here. So I have on a cult documentary. Um, I don't know what else I could do. Oh, I made tea. I made maple maple almond tea oh. i'll turn a light on too i'm gonna turn a light on oh. kona's letting us know too right all right we're gonna start decorating i bought that i haven't even used this, the tags on oh my god that's great friends and family, any support system you may have had. And obviously making the decision for her that she wasn't gonna go home. And Isabella isn't protesting that. And it wasn't just him and Talia. I only had one bed in my bedroom. It was All right guys, I finished. Halloween definitely threw up in here. Does it look cheesy? Maybe. Is it cute? I think so. Does it make sense? Not really. There's like a lot of different like things going on, but I really, really like it. So let me just do some can work. We're going to start over here. I made this the other day. It's cute actually. And then... Oh, let me go over here. Oh, it has lights and pumpkins. 
some dead flowers. And lots of layers here. There's like layer, layer, layer with the lights. And then the garland, pumpkins, skull. <laughs> it was a styrofoam skull that I spray painted, it, but I thought it, I think it looks pretty cool, even though it did like, the styrofoam definitely like absorbed the paint. And some pumpkins down there. This pumpkin's my best friend, it'll never leave me. And then I gotta get a hook for that, for my door, but that's the wreath that's gonna go outside. And then these pumpkins in here, how cute is that? And then these up there. And then I read that these. So that says Fangtastic with some pumpkins and a yoga, a yoga skeleton, some pumpkins. I always have this like dead flower arrangement, but I love it so much. And then this, let me turn this light on. How cute, I put that netting, and then I made this pumpkin Mickey the other day. Super cute. And then pumpkin spice. Cute, cute, cute. So that's really all I did up here, which I think is, that's a good amount, right? <gasps> I did this the other day, but. It has the candle, but see, it's like real fall, so I gotta like, do something here, but that's what we got going on right now. And then we went in the basement and did basement stuff. Started over here. These are just like leftover. Everything down here is leftover, so not, not, it's not as cute down here. This is like a Prost, Prost type shit. I don't know. That I did that trick or treat these are supposed to be like broomsticks but they don't really look like broomsticks but i like the little skeletons i think they're really cute there's another one in there chilling another one on top of a pumpkin we got a few hanging here i put that bucket there and then i put this in there I had other stuff in there, I just took it out. And then Koda. And then this lady who's very scary, but she's so nice. I have that with her pumpkin. And then this, oh, this is my favorite, I think. With those skeleton arms, how cute is that? So that's, that's that. Oh, and then this guy. Skeleton. He was broken, I fixed him. But... He's cute. That was my mom's. So, I have decorated and now I can have one thing that's something else checked off my list. Um, it's like five o'clock right now, so. How are these looking? God, it's insane. Anyways, don't look at my face. I can't help that I'm a hormonal 35 year old. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to try and maybe do some screen printing, and that's it, and then I'm going to eat dinner, so I'll show you if I actually make something, I will show you my end result, but maybe, we'll see!